wanted to have a world in turmoil. Chaos starts to spread all over the world. Two big teams waging war against each other. You just want to destroy this other faction. End of Nations really began as a core idea. What would the very near future be like if the economy actually did collapse? If you know, the world really gave rise to a, a military power that controlled everything. We wanted to have a definite villain, which is the Order of Nations. Under the guise of a goodwill mission, they start providing the peace and stability that the uh, world's governments are unable to provide. And before anyone realized it, they had the power. Now they feel that their one world order is a very good thing that's key to the success of the planet. But there's a lot of rebellious forces because the order of nations strips you of your civil liberties. There's a lot of forces that want their freedoms back. Monker Dean was an assassin and an intelligent officer in the Order of Nations. Some of her friends decided that she was getting too powerful and so they decided to say that she was a double agent. She was ultimately sentenced to death but escaped and decides that she's going to form her own vision of what the Order of Nations was supposed to be and that becomes the Shadow Revolution. Shadow Revolution is more sleek, hit and run, faster vehicles and strike vehicles and a little bit more high-tech vehicles. Subterfuge, ambushes, they're really great at getting in there, doing a lot of damage and then fading out before the enemy can retaliate. The Liberation Front is more about your democracy. They believe in honor and integrity. They believe in the way things were. The Liberation Front was a culmination of several different resistance movements started in the United States. It took somebody like Alec Chase, who was uh, a war hero, to kind of unite these different resistance groups. It was when he was reassigned to quell a riot in Miami that he went AWOL because he refused to turn against his own citizens. Then he teamed up with Mary Dickinson, who was the deposed Lord Chancellor in England, and uh, together they formed the Liberation Front. The uh, Liberation Front, you know, a lot more big traditional heavy-duty tanks and aircraft and hardware. They look for the straight-up fight. They're not the types that hide in shadows and, and duck around corners. They come out with all guns blazing. And so these two polarizing ideas keep these two factions in conflict. We want to have this place where people could rally with a side, where they could battle against the other side. So, you know, Shadow Revolution versus Liberation. But the real enemy is much larger and much more evil. And so somehow you've got to take this other enemy who has betrayed you, who has backstabbed you, who constantly fights and nips at your heels, and make him your friend temporarily and go fight this big bad.